Hi, my name is Ludos Butkus, and in this episode of What to Hodl, I want to do a review of Komodo. If you scroll down, it is right now at the 29th spot. It has a market cap of 226 million, which is quite nice. The price is at around $2.24. The circulating supply is 100 million tokens. If you look at the charts, there is a pretty good solid uptrend with some major spikes at around June when everything was basically spiking and then there was uh, at September when I think some major news were announced and right now we are here at still growing so what is Komodo why there isn't too much info about it and why isn't too many people talking about it if you check out different Facebook groups etc you will basically hear about Komodo only when there is some big announcement or something though there is a lot of really good stuff happening on Komodo and there is a ton of really interesting technology that they are working on and well let's dive into it so to summarize what is Komodo it is a privacy coin that is also a platform for hosting different blockchains. So let's start with, with their technologies one by one. The first thing that they are promoting is their atomic swaps. What is atomic swap? Well, I made a video about them not that long ago, uh, where Charlie Lee tweeted that they made the first atomic swap between Litecoin and Bitcoin. What it means is that they exchanged Litecoin with Bitcoin. Well, that's nothing new, you say. Well, it is new because there were no intermediaries. So you can find a person that has Bitcoin and wants Litecoin, and you change between the blockchains and there's no intermediaries necessary. So basically, uh, that can eliminate the need for these exchanges that are centralized like Poloniex, Kraken, etc, etc. Still, it is early days for atomic swaps. There are, well, major problems to it, like how do you find a person that needs that cryptocurrency, etc, etc. So there needs to be some major exchanges built that has a lot of liquidity to make it come to life. So right now they have made 6,054 atomic swaps, so basically 6,000 transactions. So it's not, it's not too big right now. Next, what they want to do is to run a decentralized ICO. The first decentralized ICO is going to be Monet's. It got delayed because there are some bugs still or some problems with their module of their decentralized ICOs because it was on it should have happened on November 10th but it's November 18 right now and it still hasn't happened they wrote a blog post that there is some problems and that's delayed so well it's a good thing you obviously want to have everything as secure as possible before you decide to run it so what's new with decentralized ICOs? Well, right now, when you do an ICO, there is one website, one node, and everyone sends money, their cryptocurrencies, to that node. So there is latency, there is lag, there are potential theft and potential hacking problems, etc., etc. And they talk in their white paper, I think this leads to their white paper, where we can read more about the benefits that they think. And also, as they are a uh, privacy coin, they also allow to host these ICOs quite privately with their Zeki Snarks technology. So, yeah, that's a good improvement on the current ICO market. And I think this can really go big if a lot of businesses decide to do their ICOs on Komodo and decide that they want to do a decentralized, more secure ICO. 
what's next is their wallet. Their wallet is a Gamma wallet, it's still in testing. They have two wallets, the Komodo paper wallet for just holding your Komodo, and the Gamma wallet is a lot more robust, and you will see why in a second. So this is how the wallet looks like, and this is different cryptocurrencies that you will be able to do atomic swaps between. So you have your Komodo in your wallet, and you can then atomic swap it with doggy coin, digibyte, litecoin. And once you have litecoin on your wallet, you can swap it for Bitcoin, Komodo, digibyte as well. So you can do different kinds of transferring. So this is the Gamma wallet, it's still in testing, but it is going to be quite huge because you will be able to, without any exchange, to exchange your tokens through some assets. Now, atomic swaps aren't available for every single blockchain, so they will only be using the ones that uh, are using, that are basically in support of the atomic swaps. Next, what I want to talk is Barter Dex. So it looks very similar to their wallet, but it is going to be a decentralized exchange where they will be using their uh, atomic swaps to trade from one crypto to another. And yeah, this is going to be their decentralized exchange. Why is it better? Because it is hack and theft proof, because there is no central point to hack or to steal from. Uh, they are also listing problems on centralized exchanges, also problems when you get delisted for some reason. This is what they are promoting, that they will not be delisting coins because there is no need, because there is no overhead for accepting more coins to be used in the de decentralized exchange. No regulations on decentralized exchanges as well. So yeah, this is Another very big thing, though there is a lot of competition in the market for decentralized exchanges already. Next thing is their mining algorithm, delayed proof of work. So with their ICOs, they will be using modular blockchains. So not everything is going to run on Komodo, but there will be separate blockchains. Small blockchains are not very secure because they don't have a lot of mining power and if someone wanted, they could try to hack them. With delayed proof of work, they, there will be 61 specialized notary nodes that will do the mining. Once they do the mining, they will save their work in Bitcoin. They will send the transaction to the Bitcoin blockchain. And as you know, once there is something sent to Bitcoin, it's there. If you want to hack it, to change it, you need to have Bitcoin. So it is a very genius way how they decided to implement this. So 61 miners or nodes, notary nodes, will be sending a transaction to Bitcoin. So this is going to be their main network of 61 nodes. I'm not sure is this the main Komodo network or is this a separate? And then Komodo connects to this network, but well, it doesn't matter in this explanation. So as new blockchains are being created due to ICOs happening on Komodo, so they will have small blockchains that are not very secure. So they will be connecting to this decentralized proof of work uh, channel of the 61 notary nodes uh, that will help to secure that blockchain. Of course, they could be using the same technology of of the notary nodes and just send a hash directly to Bitcoin, but that would be more expensive. As you know, Bitcoin fees are quite, quite high right now. So this is why a lot of blockchains could just connect to this decentralized Paul module and then these 61 nodes send to Bitcoin. There's some optim optimizations that they are talking about how often to send uh, these turn these hashes to Bitcoin for security, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, that's if you are if you want to get even more technical about it. 
Uh, another thing is that it doesn't need to be proof of work, it can also work for proof of stake. So that's an interesting thing. So yeah, it is a very genius way how to secure smaller blockchains by sending the hashes into Bitcoin. So yeah, okay, next technology. I'm not even done yet. So decentralized fiat currencies. The closest competitor or the closest uh, comparison that I could do is with Tether, though I have done on a video where I talked about the problems with Tether. It seems that they are doing very shady business. They are inflating uh, the supply. The supply doesn't ever go down, which it should when people are exchanging out of Tether. There should be less Tether left but it doesn't really seem to be happening so if you want to be secure don't use that that's that's my opinion and that's what i advocate but yeah it is pegged to the us dollar and one tether should always be one us dollar komodo wants to do the same thing but a little bit differently they will be using the european central bank for getting the data of exchange rates and they will be launching 32 fiat currencies. As you can see the list over here, USD, Euro, GPI, GPP, AOD, CAD, etc., etc. So all the major currencies, fiat currencies, will have their equivalents in the fiat cryptocurrency. You can read more about their technology over here, how they are planning to do that. But basically they will be using their Komodo tokens and for example, you send an amount of dollars and the same amount of Komodo tokens will be burnt and used. Uh, well. So yeah, this is how they are going to implement it. Of course, there are some security measures that they need to implement for testing so that if a lot of volume would go and that would be higher than the Komodo market cap, there would be a huge problem because all of the Komodo tokens would be burned. So yeah, they will be launching it in two phases. Uh, a first small case to basically test out the concept with a 1% of their market cap, and then they will go on a larger scale. So this is their uh, decentralized fiat currencies. So now I think I have covered all the stuff. So it is really a handful, atomic swaps, uh, decentralized ICOs, uh, private transactions, uh, delayed proof of work, uh, pegged cryptocurrencies for fiat decentralized fiat currencies. Wow, that's a lot that's happening and the price of this token is still quite low as we see it is at the number 29 and the technology yes it's still being tested out it's not working uh, the first major launch is going to be the decentralized ico i'm guessing this is going to be the first one next they they should probably launch their wallet and then I think their decentralized exchange will come into place. So it's still being tested, but it seems very, very promising. And I see a lot of potential for Komodo platform. So this is it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos. So yeah, this is Komodo. It's it's not getting a lot of attention, though I think it should. So make sure to do your own research. This is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. But I am thinking that Komodo is definitely going to be a big player in the cryptocurrency market. So this is it for this video. I will see you in the next one.